This technique is impossibly simple and it is unbelievably sophisticated. I love doing this and I'll start by showing you how to rip the tin foil, crumple it, put it together and make some simple shapes. When ripping tin foil, there is a technique involved. It is super fancy. We take it out of the box and we rip it by hand. But don't pull from the center of the sheet. Grab the upper corner and pull against that edge. And it rips very, very, very fast. You're going to struggle unless you do that. Now, when I'm sculpting something, I'll rip a whole bunch of stuff off and make a pile of 20 or 30 of these sheets. When crumpling tinfoil, this is where you start your initial shapes. Tinfoil has a shiny and it has a dull side. Always put the shiny side inwards. So, this is the shiny side. I'm going to literally fold it like that. Only the dull is showing because your eyes can't see it if it's the sparkly side. When you start to build out a sculpture, it's going to be very, very hard for your eye to register what that surface is doing. As you can see, this is really light weight. It's got air and it's got life in it. Keep it that way. I'm going to make another ball. There's another shape that you can make and it's called the three-dimensional calligraphic line. So instead of making a ball, we are going to make a cigar shape that tapers. I'm rolling it. There. What makes this such a remarkable shape is that it emulates muscles. Tendon, muscle mass, tendon. Whether it's the one here or the ones on your thigh, you shape these ahead of time and then place them on your sculpture saves you a lot of time. This is called leather. Leather is when you need a very, very strong, very thin sheet. So, crumple it, open it up. When I spread the hot glue on, I'm going to actually flip that hot glue right off the edges. Like that. This is incredibly hot. You can get some serious burns if you're not careful. There. Now what you've made is something that cannot be ripped. It will not break. It will not shred. And if you're going upside down underneath something, this corrugated surface is really perfect. You're adding hot glue. Take these two press them together, take it apart. They've now patterned each other. The next bit, hot glue. It's just that fast. So when you're sculpting with tin foil, you can really block out forms unbelievably fast. You can be slamming into it. You can expect to make something almost as large as I am in about three hours with a lot of detail. I'm going to make a series of smaller shapes. While I'm sculpting, I'm going to shape it as I'm crumpling it. Then I'll glue it to the larger mass.
There's still a lot of air in here. There's still a lot of life. Now I'm going to start crushing to find my shape. starts becoming recognizable as a bird. Don't crush this too far because it will get so hard you can't move it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of what this technique can do, check out our other things online.